Dual Review is brought to you by Nexus, digitalcomics.com. On today's Dual Review, we talk about the future of gaming in the Unreal Engine 4. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Welcome to Wednesday the 27th of June. We are doing the Unreal Engine 4. That's right. And I guess, uh, as he put it so eloquently, that it's heralding the new uh, generation of, of uh, consoles. Yes. And it really is. Um, it is quite astounding, um, mostly from a developer's point of view. Um, but I guess we just wanted to talk about what it means for you know us and the future of gaming's you know right here right now. Yeah, we won't get into too much of the techie stuff, mostly because it's over my head. I mean, I'm sure he gets it, but it's like what? I get most of it. Uh, I'm, I'm very looking forward to you know I need to have a few more you know uh, people to help me, like employees to you know to get something out there. But I would really love to have this game. You know, I'd love people. to license this right. uh, engine and use it, but we're not there yet. Uh, anyway, Unreal um, has always been kind of a, a, well, actually, ever since the Unreal tournament, yeah. uh, and Unreal itself, the game Unreal, um, has been on the forefront of pushing, you know, graphics and what you can do. Um, they have a really elegant uh, uh, engine, uh, creating tool, you know, tools for creating uh, games. Right. They've been everywhere. They've been from sports games to, you know, racing games to first-person shooters. Everything. To, you know, uh, yeah, like Bulletstorm and you know, whatever. Uh, they're all over the place. Uh, even like iOS games and stuff now. Anyway, um, the new engine for really most of it has to do with lighting. And you think, oh, well, you know, if it's not going to push the, you know, the graphic limit of the characters or whatever, and it, yeah. it, it is an astounding leap forward in right. lighting because right. it's been really, really limited. And I know you've had an experience where it was just frustratingly so. Turok, for PlayStation 3, and I believe it's for Xbox 360 as well, I have such a problem, especially in the beginning levels, because it is so dark, you don't get a flashlight or anything, you have no idea where you're really going. Wasn't that ported from the 2? Wasn't it like on the cusp? So that's partly why it's so bad? I don't, I don't think so, but maybe. Okay. I really don't think so. Um, you know, but, but I think we've all had those instances though where we're just like, I can't see any like I just am not getting anything right. from the section because right. it's just too, too dark. dark. Just too dark. So to have to have decent light to have good lighting is is an absolute must and Unreal Engine four takes it to a whole new level. I, I really am excited and, and it's weird to say, but I really am, am excited about, you know, the type of lighting that this can achieve. Yeah, it's just like in the olden days where the sound used to be not so important. People kind of poo pooed the sound and and uh, I've always, you know, known that it's really important. Good sound effects really immerse right. you and whatever. It's the same with the lighting. You don't even realize how, well, maybe some of you do, but if good lighting, just like good soundtrack, you don't necessarily notice that it's there. It just yeah. really adds to the emotion. And uh, 4, like I said, uh, takes really great steps towards uh, making it r super realistic. You can have, uh, okay, first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to direct you to G4 TV. Uh, G4, everyone to loves look it. up Unreal Engine 4 interactive demo right. uh, from E3. Uh, it's just this guy sits down with a new engine. He shows you some of the new lighting stuff. Um, but in that, okay, there's always been a limitation to you have spotlights, you have point lights, you have area lights, and you can pick the color, you can pick if they're ray traced or not, you know, depending on you know, what shadows you want and all that stuff. Right. But this is an instance where... Um, they actually have reflective qualities now. Uh, so, so if your light is started off yellow, but it hits a pool of water that's blue, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna cast a green shadow on the right. wall. You know, it it really has that real true to life, and it may seem like, well, why didn't they have that before? That seems, you know, easier. A lot stupid, of a lot of processing power. Exactly, a lot of processing power, and uh, it's just it, things weren't robust enough. Things mm -hmm. they didn't they didn't. It's a lot of calculation, and it has it, it's computer on the fly by the instance, and they have it so that. The game developers, and I was going to say us, but not quite yet. I want to be. Uh, the game developers can now go into it, and and while they're playing the game, they can simply just pause it without popping out and just change something. So right. it's all happening uh, real time, uh, which is a really big deal. Um, I you know I edit all these videos and whatever. We used to edit out where we couldn't do real time editing, and that was a pain in the ass. Now it's gotten really close to that. Game engines 
were even worse because they were even more labor intensive. So you'd have to do something, you'd have to wait for it to render, then you could see if you screwed up or not. Right. Now it's instantaneous. It, it's it's just a miracle. Um, now they also have translucentness where if they have a character, say he's made out of jade or something, right? If you put a point light behind him and you move him into that, uh, in in the games before this, like before this engine, it would basically just kind of glow um, evenly through the character right. because it would say that, okay, there's a light pointed at me and so I'm going to have this much, you know, luminance, you know, brilliance coming off of this texture or whatever. Now it's to the point where if you have a light behind this jade, when you move the jade, the light will move independently and light up a different part. Within him. Right. Yeah, and it'll it'll show the different textures and the crags and stuff in the in the model. And you just really should look at this uh, if you're interested at all. Which is cool to have check a character made out of jade. Yeah, uh, but and the same <clears throat> same with like metallic textures. There's also this really cool thing where um, they're now being able to stamp textures, which means they have this ball of water in this in this uh, demo, and they take the bottle ball of water and they roll it on the ground, and that that stamps um, you know a wet look uh, onto the textures that it interacts with, and then that reflects light in that area differently than the rest of the texture. And this is really, you know, difficult stuff to do. Like, yeah. of course you could do this in in animated uh, movies and such, but again, you'd have to render and then make sure that it looked right. Right. This is all on the fly. So it's really a great, uh, great leap. The other thing that's really cool is the particle systems. Uh, the, you know, we've all seen particle systems by now. Um, Skyrim has a great deal yeah. of it. Uh, and it's pretty elaborate. Um, but this is even more so. You can fill the entire screen with independently moving uh, particles. And then you can have like a sphere move through them and it all reacts, you know, wraps around it and just all reacts to that motion and the volume. And it's just volumetric. It's great. I remember when the very first game, and I forget what game <laughs> it was, unfortunately, but the very first game where they actually used particle physics to create fire. You know, like, oh my God, this is the new thing. You know, it's going to be like actual 3D fire instead of like a 2D, you know, cardboard right yeah, yeah cut out of, of fire it's, it's actually fire it's gonna look awesome you know and at the time it did well now they could do just so much more with it yeah it really you don't have to squint anymore uh, you know you used to be able to say oh it, if you squint it looks real like this does look real now yeah. they have this thing where you know they have the night and the day come and uh the camera itself in the game you know in their engine it'll it'll adjust it'll adjust exposure so uh, in the daytime, you'll see all these really rich, dark shadows. And then in the nighttime, everything, all the shadows go away. And you you see lights that you would never have seen in the day. They come out. Like, right. it's really subtle, you know, like lights in the lava. And, you know, they have some in the pillars. So I really recommend checking this out. It's really a lot of fun. Even, yeah. if, even if you're not technical and you don't know much about it, it's just kind of fun to see how real it can look. Right. Um, and I don't, I mean, obviously they spent a lot of time on the engine. I don't know how much time they spent on the demo. They, they could have done some more, you know, a little bit more fun interactive things, but uh, they have one of those, you know, what are they called? The Whirly Gig, you know, like the planetarium thing. What's it called? I don't remember. Uh, the, the oh, planets oh yeah, around. the solar system, the model solar system. Yeah, like yeah. in, like in the, uh, Dark Crystal. It's fun. Oh, yeah. Fun yeah that was a fun anyway, uh, so really exciting stuff, especially because we know that this bodes well for the next generation. Right. You know, we were all wondering... Stupid Wii U. I, they're really missing the ball. I don't think there's any way that they could encompass this sort of thing. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, they're really relying on this kind of experiential, you know, like, oh, we have a fat kid. We should get him a Wii U so he has to stand up and do stuff, I guess. I don't know. I just think they're really missing the boat. Whereas PlayStation, if you do not capitalize on this, I will be pissed. Oh, I'm sure they will. I, I hope so. Yeah, but I'm sure everyone will. I this also is... want them to release at least the same time as Xbox. Everybody's saying that they should really do it beforehand yes. because Xbox has a larger hold, but it's just like Windows has a larger hold of, you know, you might argue with me, but uh, because they got into businesses first, so there's a lot more PCs, so there's a lot more Xboxes because, well, first of all, Halo has a very, you know, a devout yes. following, um, but they were the first release by years, or you know, year and a half or something like yeah, that. Yeah, before PlayStation. Before 3, PlayStation, yeah. so PlayStation really needs to be more competitive. I think they have a better model. I really do. Uh, so, and they've always had just a little bit of an edge on processing and that sort of thing. So, mm -hmm. hopefully, it'll continue. I mean, really, I don't care which. One. I just want them both to be great systems. And if they look anything like this, if they're able to use this engine fully, we are going to 
Yeah, yeah it's gonna, gonna it's gonna be a whole new level of be crazy. Yeah, it's it's just. I mean, I, every the way I see it is is new consoles should be brought out when a severe change in the tech you know is, is noticed or or brought to light. This Unreal Engine is that tech that deserves its own console. You know, it just it's wonderful. It's it's beautiful. It's well, they're honestly not the only ones. I mean, there are others that are just on their heels. Right. Um, the ones that do that are doing Hitman, I think. I forget the name. It's like ISIS, or I can't remember the name, but uh, they're on the heels. Uh, so yeah, it's this whole new generation, right. and, and uh, boy, I, yeah, we just haven't seen it. I remember when the PlayStation Three came out, and I was just like, "Wow, this is so much different." You know, I felt the same way when I started playing Oblivion, because um, that was like the graphical game of. Oh its time. right, right. Now it looks like yeah. Yeah. Now now it it's is funny. Yeah. Um, let's see what else I was going to say. Oh well, and I was also going to say that this demonstration, even though it looks so great. It's just the beginning. Like all the stuff that we have on P PS3 now, like uh, like I I don't know what, what games have been out lately that most people are like, ooh, Skyrim, so beautiful. Okay, those are pushing it. Yes. They're really pushing it. This is not pushing it. It no. already looks better. This is this is demo. You yeah. know, so it already looks. I I wouldn't say way better, but it still looks really right. A lot better. Um, I'm just excited to see what else is in there because really they've only focused on the lights and then the interactiveness with the developer, uh, how they can pop in and out and like set their character and right. manipulate. Which whatever. is cool, especially for game developers yeah, to, to, super to cool. see that. Oh man, it saves so much time. Yeah. It's, it's really going to allow them more time to develop what, rather than... What I'm going to ask is, is kind of an ambiguous question, <clears> but... <throat> So, so with the Unreal Tournament, with these other developers, you know, making these engines that are really awesome on their heels, with the coming of the next console, what does it all mean? You know, what what can we look forward to? It takes a developer five years to make a game. Now, will it take three no, or two? No, 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 because they've already got the budgets worked out, and mm -hmm. there will be some studios that try to capitalize on that and just you know pump out crap that you know. Maybe looks impressive at first, but it's just kind of a shallow okay. game. Or whereas, whereas the real but, will take will take that five years that they've been given and really right do with as much as they possibly can. People, I don't, know, I, don't I <coughs> excuse me. People and developers get set in their ways really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so if it takes them three years to do a project, they're just going to continue doing three year projects, and uh, they're just going to do it as best they can. And you know, I don't know what will happen with prices though. That has a lot to do with it. I mean, maybe yeah. maybe you're right. Maybe they will start doing it in shorter and shorter periods because they're charging less and less. I hope that's not the case because just like you know, everybody was saying that big budget films were out, it's like not yet. Mm -hmm. And I hope that that doesn't really happen. I mean, I think they can be trimmed quite a bit and be okay because <laughs> there's no reason that you have to pay Matt Damon, you know, fucking you know, fifty million dollars for a stupid fucking movie. You know, whatever. He can be funny. Whatever. Uh, I don't think he gets paid fifty million dollars, but still. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. Because with all the, you know, $10, $15 games that we're getting now, just downloadables, yeah. uh, I definitely do think it's going to be discless. I wouldn't be surprised if the next Xbox or PlayStation did not have a disc drive. That, I, I, don't, I don't even know what I would, that would be, feel I like. would be surprised if they didn't do something like that, honestly. If they just kept with the... I mean, maybe Blu-ray, because Blu-ray is so popular, but I'm, I'm not sure... Well... There's a lot of room on Blu-rays, so they could probably easily do a new generation game on a Blu-ray. But I do, you know, the same way that uh, Xbox was like, oh, we're doing HD DVD, HD DVD and we're not going to ever do blah, 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 and then they released a you know, Connect 2. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I think it might be the same, like Apple's doing it too, where they're not, they're not doing disk drives anymore. They're having an add-on in case you want it, because they're seeing that as an archaic kind of way. And then everybody's going to download it. I really do think it's going to be sooner rather than later. I, I, we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know. It, it just depends on who their market is right now. Their market... Uh, you know, we were just having this conversation with uh, Ch Lollipop Chainsaw. Yes. And who the market is. If it's younger kids, then they're already on the cusp of... I mean, they might boot this old technology because... I mean, I, we were lucky to have backward compatibility for the PS3 for a little bit. I was fortunate enough to buy one of those. He bought one thinking he could do that. And nope. So you know, like borrow my PS2. That sucks. I didn't know that. You know, like I got the first one. And it, it worked fine. Uh, so they pulled that. You know, so you see what I'm saying? Yeah, they're pulling yeah. all these things because they're sucks. just not supporting it anymore. They're just like, okay, future. Because honestly, if you can download a game 
there's no need for any backwards compatibility or anything like that, really. But I mean, then it's already in your system. And right, but then there's a need a to buy, you know, like new hard drives and, you know. Well, all that's that true, crap. but, uh, you know, they're moving towards the cloud and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So, I don't know, it'll, it'll be interesting to see. So, uh, anyway, I think this engine is something to be excited about. If you're awesome. interested at all, check it out on G4 TV. I would say it's unreal. Unreal. So, that's it. Uh, hear me ramble on and on. Uh, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, tell us what you think. Check out our wares at spiderwolf.com. We have t-shirts, prints, his wonderful card game, short stories, Kickstarter projects coming. We have new stuff on nexusdigitalcomics.com yep, every, every day. day. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Yay, I got it. You got it? I totally got it. If I didn't get it, I'm going to make it. <laughs> anyway. Next up on to a review, the anime Salty Ray. Welcome to do a review. Silence. Oh, you you were talking about uh, what I contribute to do a review. I also have this dance move now. People are doing it. You know that? People do it. Well, I'll see at least one. They watch, they watch the opening, they see me do this, and now I see people all over the place doing it. It's a thing now. It's called, I don't know what it's called, but it's a thing. Okay. It's called the roll pointer. You see, because you continue to point and you're rolling them. The roll pointer. I made that up. It's not really called that. I don't know what they're calling it. That's, yeah, that's not a good name. The roll pointer. It's like you're firing into the sky because you're happy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. The All-Star Western. Welcome to Wednesday the 27th of June. We are doing the Unreal Tournament Engine. Tur tournament? I don't know though, why, they, why they came out. We're doing the Unreal Engine 4. Okay. You had Tourette's or something? Yes. Balls! <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. What? Little dance moves to go along with all my singing. Apparently, I sing too much. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Watch the last like four or five episodes. You won't shut up. I don't sing that much. I don't sing. It's not I much. don't sing at all. I really don't sing at all. It's not like me. Just earlier, I was singing the I sing Meat Love time. song. I would do anything for love. See, I've seen that for my dogs. I just. I sing a lot of songs. That's what I sing, is I sing for my dogs and I sing, like, change lyrics, like they're singing to us. Be like, I would do anything for a treat, except take a crap. <laughs> what? It's Einstein, he hates pooping. I don't know what the deal is, he just hates it. <coughs> I would do anything for love, to scratch my ass. <laughs> my dog again, not me. It's totally him. Yeah, I, I do that all the time. I'm like, oh no! Before you come in the house, I'm gonna scratch my hand. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it really, it's horrible. I can imagine. Can't do door review until I scratch this bastard's ass. <laughs> That's not a blooper. All right, wait. What are we doing now? I'm wearing the shirt inside. Oh. <laughs> not paying attention. That's what he sounds like. Noise. That's what he sounds like. Oh, he's a bastard. Annoying. <laughs> yes, heat is. <laughs>